Ah, good hello to you, sir. A fair morning it is, and lo, there is much tech news, ripe for discussion. I entreat you, pay heed to this episode and savour the tidings contained herein. <gasps> Lots of tech news today, sir. Get ready. <laughs> Rumors are flying about a number of new Xbox devices today thanks to a couple of anonymous reports. Kotaku says their sources claim a more powerful Xbox console will launch in 2017, codenamed Project Scorpio. This unit would have an upgraded GPU capable of supporting 4K and the Oculus Rift. Meanwhile, a smaller, cheaper Xbox One with an upgraded 2TB hard drive, aka the Xbox One Slim, would launch this year. Now, other sources apparently told the Thurot report that Microsoft would be launching two media-focused Xbox devices this year. The smaller one would be a streaming stick like the Chromecast, while the larger one would be a lightweight console that could play some Windows Store games, thanks to Microsoft's Universal Windows App initiative. Now, there's no way to know whether some or all of these rumors are legit until Microsoft lifts the veil at E3 and June, but I think we should lock up our Mountain Dew and Doritos because the Xboxes, they're coming hard and fast. A while back, we reported on the Wooting One Analog Mechanical Keyboard. That project is now launched on Kickstarter and surpassed its goal pretty much immediately. Unlike regular mechanical keyboards, the Wooting One can tell how far down you're pressing a key, meaning you can control the speed of your movements and actions in game. The Wooting has a red linear switch and a blue clicky switch and can also be customized with different top plates. It achieves the analog trickery partially by its ability to be recognized by the PC as either a regular keyboard, a direct input game, gamepad or an Xbox controller. We'll see if we can get our hands on this to test the Wooting's claims. I can't wait to walk at whatever speed I want in games. Very exciting stuff. And CryoRig, known primarily for CPU cooling, have announced a pair of MITx cases. The OLA is clearly inspired by Apple's Mac Pro and features a cylindrical design with a 140mm fan at the top. It supports regular mini ITX motherboards and full-size graphics cards, so this might be the first fully upgradable trash can case we've seen. CryoRig's other case is the Taku, a slim case with wooden legs that also supports MITx boards and graphics cards up to 250 millimeters. We should get a closer look at both cases at Computex next week. Word has it there's going to be lots of computers there. Which, that, yeah, that makes sense. Computex. That computer sense. So. It's time for... Shorter news stories said more quickly than the others. Panda people, they do exist. Well, thank you for your submission, Sammy. That's the first one I've gotten yet. If you, if anybody wants to do another one of those, please feel free. Send uh, your clips of shorter news stories said more quickly than the others and all the rest of those other ones that we do as well. More Microsoft news. The company is shutting down its internal phone hardware division, laying off 1,850 workers and pretty much killing hopes of a Surface phone. We'll still get Windows 10 phones from other companies, though, in case anyone cares about that. I've given Windows phone respect ever since my Lumia 710. Just, just cuz. Oh yeah, you got a Windows phone. That's right. I forgot. Xiaomi followed through with its teases and released the Mi Drone, complete with a wide-angle camera that comes in a 1080p and 4K 30fps model. But the killer feature is the price, starting at 380 bucks US. HP updated its Omen gaming line with the new Skylake processors for its laptop and desktop, and launched an Omen-branded 32-inch 1440 display with FreeSync set to launch in August. Videocards.com claims to have legit benchmarks of an overclocked GTX 1070 and 3D Mark Firestrike, showing it performed much better than the Titan X, but not quite touching the 1080's performance. No surprises there, but it happened, so we just have to mention it. SteelSeries launched the Rival 700 gaming mouse that they showed off back at CES, complete with a little customizable OLED display on the side, a little rumble motor for tactile alerts, and customizable plates and sensors. Gimmick or useful feature? You decide. With your wallet. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Ich bin ein wunderschön Erdbeergesicht. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. I don't know. Guys, 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 do I have to keep reminding you? You can get free stuff just by subscribing to NCIX Tech Tips and the NCIX Newsletter. This month for fans with benefits, we're giving away two ducky secret gaming mice. Right here, these are the ones that 
you will get uh, the microphone. All you gotta do is subscribe and comment on any video from May. And on NCIX.com, we're giving away a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 960 Extreme video card. To win that, all you gotta do is subscribe to the NCIX newsletter or claim your newsletter points for this month if you're already subscribed. So, click here to do that. And here also to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And click here for a little surprise. <laughs> All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. You can click here to watch more videos, follow us on social media over here, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, the sun still shines bright in yonder courtyard, and methinks I shall catch a ray or three before the evening extinguishes its warmth. You gotta edit this, Barrett. You can't. Oh, that's right.